time is indeed a valuable resource, the ward earns an expensive gift today. One whole extra second, which will be added to the clock tonight. Before switching to the digits 00.00 GMT, the clock will read 2359.60. This addition of a leap second was decided by the Paris Observatory earlier this year. The reason? To compensate for a slight slowdown in the Earth's rotation. The Earth doesn't spin regularly. Why? Because the Earth isn't a perfectly round snooker ball isolated in the universe. In fact, you have the Moon spinning around it, and the Moon applies forces that flatten the Earth. This causes tides, the Earth slows down, and at the same time, the Moon is pulling away. This extra second may not affect most of us but may be problematic for economists, traders and engineers, and computers. In a world where every second is crucial, this addition could be more than just a headache. In the New York Stock Exchange, the leap second will be added before the opening of trade on Wednesday to avoid hazards. This may also influence other fields. The last leap second occurred in 2012 and affected the Australian Airlines Qantas check-in system delaying up to 50 flights. Dr. Nadia Godolovsky from the National Physical Laboratory in Israel explains. In financial institutes, it is highly important to use an accurate time. For example, at the stock exchange, every time a deal takes place, the accurate time appears, because the stock's constantly changing. It is very important to know the exact time, even to the nanosecond. But along with the threats come some advantages. Perhaps an extra second will help the Greeks decide whether they want to leave the EU or not. It will give the world powers more time to negotiate that deal with Iran. And with time running out, you need to decide. What will you do with that extra second?